Councillor. Um, it's my pleasure and honor to um, welcome all the presenters and the audience to this session of the scientific meetings and scientific presentations. Um, you have, the presenters, you have seven minutes for your presentation. And uh, please, we expect that you, you, you keep strictly to time. Um, when it is remaining three minutes, you will be alerted, and we hope and pray that you will abide by the rules and regulations. Um, we will start um, with the first presenter, Dr. Yesir A. Karim, who is presenting the role of integrated mentoring and collaboration in enhancing publication success. Yesir A. Karim, please can you approach? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so good morning all. I'll be, my name is Yesura Deyemi Karim. I'm from FMPH and my degree. So I'll be presenting on the title, The Role of Integrated Mentoring and Collaboration in Enhancing Research publication uh, success. So I'll be uh, speaking following this uh, set of outlines. So as an introduction, the successful publication of research is bolstered by effective mentorship and collaboration, enabling broadening of expertise and potentials for interdisciplinary work. Mentorship is defined as a professional relationship where a more experienced person, usually the mentor, provides help for another, usually the mentor, over a period of time. While collaboration is a form of cooperation to help researchers write about and publish their work by developing a network of researchers. So through this particular kind of network, they can find long-term mentors or short-term advice to help them through research design, writing, and publications. However, this is at a low level in Nigeria with a low turnout of researches, which can be related to the lack of cooperation in ensuring effective mentoring and collaboration for successful outcomes. Thus, the importance of this um, study to examine the benefits of mentorship and collaboration in publications. So the, this study aims to review mentor and collaboration and examine their roles in success of research publications. So as method, it was a literature review that was conducted on mentor and collaboration in research and the associated benefits with um, evidences from these common databases, PubMed, Medline, and Google Scholar. And we made use of the five uh, keywords, mentorship, collaboration, publication, subject and development, to search through the literature. And at the end of the day, the research, we had a search for three years, between 2023, and these were sorted out and reviewed. About 80 articles were initially reviewed from these databases, out of which 30 were eventually used after screening following the following uh, criteria. The information that were obtained were summarized accordingly. So this particular chart uh, describes the algorithm of the sample selection from the 80 that were initially retrieved from the databases and following different stages, screening for duplications and liberty, we eventually had 30 to be reviewed at the end of the day. So the result, the review found that mental collaboration enhanced outcomes by providing, providing a platform for disciplinary work, publication in high impact journals, and also facilitating potentials for funding of research. And additionally, it also fostered improved productivity, problem solving abilities and skill development by leveraging on collective experiences. So this, the following chart describes some of the findings. Most of the um, studies that were reviewed, several of them agreed that mentorship and collaboration would enhance interdisciplinary practice. 50% supported that they could help publications, 40% for funding and grants, and then 30, 30%, 35 percent supported that mentorship and collaboration can actually enhance skills development in publications. So the integrated mental collaboration has yielded a range of national practices, resulting in multiple publications such as a very common study that was published by 
uh, researchers across 27 countries and involving 24,000 participants, which was targeted, to, which was termed as the Ramadan intermittent fasting study. Uh, it also improved the chances of uh, funding and grant, especially among early career researchers from resource limited settings such as Nigeria, where we cannot really afford money to, pub to publish, just as the RCN of Nigeria, that is owned by NAD, where people come together from different centers and are able to publish many researches, many of them of which are funded. And recently, the common study that was published by the association is the study that was targeted at looking at the implementation of CTV of course, Con 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 Short Act 2017, which was sponsored by the ICRC. So this is one of the um, um, studies that was a collaboration between 27 countries of Muslim researchers where they looked at the changes in mental well-being among Nigerians due to Ramadan fasting during the COVID-19 pandemic. It was eventually sponsored through a grant by collaboration. And also, mental collaboration is crucial for researchers because it facilitates sharing activity of latest research findings and offers opportunity for skills development, such as that by the current, being developed by the GHI of Iman, which is developing a current uh, tool. So, uh, in conclusion, collaboration in research is very important in the amount of healthcare and improvement of medical knowledge. It has had several benefits, including opportunity for disciplinary practice, funding, productivity, and skills development. However, it is not devoid of challenges despite these benefits, some of which include conflict in authorship, lack of trust, and the poor communication. So we recommend that people find others in their field to get information, they develop their skills, and ensure latest research is shared and accessible. And a well-selected, well-resourced team of collaborators in which authorship is based on contribution and authors included according to their extent of contribution rather than their sentiment is hereby recommended moving forward. So these are my references. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Dr. Yashifo.